guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, aka Wanderblush, here on YouTube, and today I decided to tell you about how much of a consumer I am. Yes, yes, I have the very important and very socially um, relevant -ness of video. I'm doing a haul! Uh, but before I get into all the goodies that I have cultivated, bought, subscribe to my channel. Quality content. Quality. Subscribe. Click there. Okay. Take your time. Click there. There. Okay. Good job. And now just hit subscribe. No, we're all waiting for you. No, it's fine. Just you good? Okay, great. Okay, now we can move on. Thank you. Yes, yes, I am filming a collective haul for you guys. I have been shopping over the past couple weeks. Hashtag payday. I'm going to show you some clothes, makeup items, and some random things that have been helping me get through my life. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to like hold off from either wearing something or opening the packaging for most of my things. Uh, couldn't do it for all of them. So... That's real life. I'm one of those people that once I buy something cute or once I buy a lipstick I really like, it's it's so very difficult not to use it right away. Ooh, my arms kind of look good. So let's get right into it. Products, things. Forever 21. I kept the bag because... So this is from a different couple of different trips to Forever 21 that I've made recently. I will start with something that I wore today before I start filming this. And then I thought, I should probably film that video now because I wore this today. I posted it on Instagram today. Okay, so I got this really cute little outfit. Can't see it. I'll insert a picture here. So it's just like a two-piece outfit, a little top and a little pair of high-waisted shorts to go with it. It's got that kind of Mediterranean feel with the design and then the little, these little tassels on the end. It's a really cute shirt. I'm doing it no justice by holding it. it uh, it's a little boxy in the front and in the back it opens up real cute. I'm not going to lie though, when I tried this on in the dressing room, it laid really, really well. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. It's cute. And then I walked a little bit when I was wearing it today and the shorts went right north to heaven. Give this video a thumbs up if you are a girl that is a bit curvier, maybe has booty, maybe has some thighs, work. And every pair of shorts you ever wear just decides I don't want to stay still. I'm going to go all the way up. Staying on the shorts trend, I got myself a new pair of denim shorts. Uh, these are a bit high waisted as well. Nothing fancy. Like I said, with my booty and with my legs, I just can't really, I haven't found a pair of shorts. Uh, like festival, they call them festival shorts now. They're cut off jean shorts. I don't know what this like whole like we're naming it festival shorts. No, they've been around forever. The festivals, Coachella did not invent them. Just for 21 stretchy. I stretched them so much that the zipper just came down. So hopefully that won't happen when I'm wearing them. And then one more pair of shorts that I ha got from Fur 21 are these olive designed ones. I don't know festival shorts again that's what they're calling them they're really nice they're very very light and loose and they're just super comfy and they lay really nicely on my on my legs as well which is difficult uh, another thing that I got from forever 21 I'm just in love with their PJ section so I got some nightgowns slash just loungewear um, I've been wearing this one a lot this is so stretchy and so unflattering but I don't care. 100% sleepy because that is my life. And I'll just wear this to sleep. Another one that I got is another just big tank top thing to just lounge in. And it's super soft. The pajamas at Forever 21 are cheap and they're really, really soft. And I really like them. The last couple things that I got from Forever 21 are headbands. It's a really good way to cover up dirty hair, aka hat or a messy bun with these. I like this one a lot because it's just a fun design and it's just stretchy. I think, I guess you, you could wear it either way. You could wear it just like big and thick or I mean this is kind of like that knotted front that you could also wear it like that. Another one I got is one that has just some florals on it. Just a nice little design. Again, it's like knotted in the front. And then the last one I got is just a plain black one. 
nice and thick and comfy. They don't give you a headache or anything like that. Another place that I just recently went to and purchased one piece of clothing was Target. Love me some Target. I don't get there often, but hey Gabe, how great is Target? Based! At Target, I also found some shorts because I just wanted a pair of black ones. I haven't had a pair of black shorts in a couple of summers now. These are just like the other shorts, the festival quote-unquote style. Um, really like these. They have, they give the appearance that they open where the tassels are, but they don't. So they're very modest, they cover everything up, but they're also super cute. They've got the tassels on the bottom, and um, they're light and kind of a linen material as well. So I like those, I know I'm gonna wear those a ton this summer. Okay, so the next place that I went is Macy's. No one ever talks about Macy's on YouTube. At some like gift store credit kind of thing, and I decided, I'm gonna use that gift card towards makeup. Macy's has a really nice selection of makeup if you've never known or don't have a Macy's near you. Really nice selection, just like Sephora, they've just got different stations. And there were a couple of palettes that I've been seeing lately uh, that I really, really wanted. So I went for them and I treated myself. Started off, I went to the Urban Decay stop little section and I was completely out of the Naked Basics palette. I literally just had the black color left. All the other colors are done because I've, it, I've had that palette for like four years now. I got the original base, uh, Naked Basics palette. I just love these colors. I use them for so many things. I'll use that on my brows. This is a great transition color. Naked 2. Walk of Shame is a nice color. And then Venus is always a great highlight and that Crave is just an awesome black. So this is just such a staple item to have in my makeup collection that I really wanted to get a new one. I was on the hunt for a new highlighter and I just really wanted to find a new one that was really gonna pop on stage. Urban Decay was like, oh hey, check us out, we've got new stuff. And I went, what's new? Show me. And they showed me. I believe it's part of a newer collection by Urban Decay. It is their Afterglow Highlighter series. But this is the color Sin and it is sinfully amazing. Oh my gosh. You can even see, even though the lighting in my room is terrible, you can even see that. Look at that. What's great about it is I can build it and make it look like, like, light like light for days is on my highlighter cheeks. It's on my cheekbones. It's quite shimmery, but I like the shimmery look right now. And it's just, it's pretty. I use it for every show. It's really, really great. The next spot that I went to in Macy's was the Benefit Counter. I have been seeing this palette all over the place. I did the math. And the math checked out well. I don't have any of the blushes from Benefit, nor do I have any of the bronzers or anything, because they're all thirty dollars each, and I'm always like, it's a lot of money for one color. So I got the palette. So this is the Cheekathon Bronzer Blush Palette by Benefit. Are you ready? You're not ready. I don't think you're ready for this. Freaking look at that can't see because the lighting is not good, but it's it's nice. That's okay, babe, because I ain't ready. The brush that comes in all the bronzer and um, blush sets that you get, it comes in here with five different colors. It comes with Dandelion. It comes with Hula, Rockator, Dallas, Coralista, some of your favorites, all of your favorites that YouTubers talk about. I can use these blushes for every single season. This one is great for summer. This one is great for winter. This one is great for year round. Dallas, who knows what Dallas is good for. I'll figure it out. Hula is like the, the bronzer that everyone on YouTube uses. They're always like, oh my God, a staple item is, it's Hula by Benefit. Get this and you'll get all of them. Guys, each one of these normally is $29. This whole thing is, Okay, steep. I had a gift card, so that's why I got it for myself. Forty, forty-five dollars. That's if you do the math. It, I mean, it's better. It's so much better because you get five. They're super pigmented. They're all really nicely pigmented. And you get the brush and a and an awesome container. And it's not too bulky. The packaging's really cute, and they're just so beautiful. And I'm very happy I treated myself to this. So. If you're in the market for blushes and you're like, I don't mind spending a little bit of money, you would be spending just about that amount on two. So if you want to go full out, 
just get the whole pallet. I had to go to the drugstore to pick up just basic things for my makeup, for my shows. And so I will tell you some of the things because I really want to open them because I haven't and I need to use them. They're from a variety of CVS and Walgreens. CVS first. I got another one of the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I love this mascara. It really gets all my lashes, makes them look big and bold, and I really like it. And I got some false eyelashes and some eyelash glue for my shows because they are used every day. This time I'm trying out the Ardell Double Up. I think I've tried these before. I think I like them. Not really sure. And then I got the lash glue that I really like using is the Duo Lash Glue that is the dark tone because I like that it dries black and it makes it just look my, um, my eyeliner is thicker. So everything else I got is from Walgreens because Walgreens and Long Beach, that's where my ship goes in LA. And CVS and Long Beach sucks. I'm just gonna put it out there. But Walgreens is where it's at. Walgreens, I got, okay, I, does anybody else hate it when they put the the thing, the, you can't see that, and if people steal things, but you're ruining my shots. I got the Maybelline Age Rewind Erase Dark Circles thing. I got it in the brightener color, because I got dark circles for days. I got the Maybelline pencil. I needed a new cool pencil for my waterline. Um, I believe this is the kind that I usually get. Sleek Onyx is the color. They keep coming up with these names. So this is waterproof gel pencil. I didn't know it was waterproof. Look at me. Uh, I got Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. This stuff is amazing. This is their waterproof, smudge proof, as they say. It's just really nice. I like the applicator. I like how it looks. It's very opaque and it's nice and it stays on for everything. So if you're a performer and you are constantly putting your hair up for wigs, or if you just like making um, braids and your hair is quite sleek and silky, um, you'll know that it's hard to create texture in your hair to make, make it easy for pins to stay in. I suggest to use these. These are amazing. They are by Goody. They are the spin pin as they call them. They're basically just bobby pins that are twistable and they stay so much. If I lose one, I'm, I'm devastated. If someone borrows it, I ask for it back. It's that kind of bobby pin by Goody. And I got another thing of blush because before I knew about the benefit one, I got this. But don't worry, I will use this all the time because I still love this. This is the Bellani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is a staple item. It is a great coral color and it also has a little bit of shimmer in it. So if I'm on the run and I gotta go quickly and put my makeup on quick, I don't need to put on highlighter because this does the job. And last from the drugstore are these. Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. Dear Rimmel, why is it so difficult to find these? I can never find these anywhere, but finally I found them. Walgreens. I'm gonna buy you out at Walgreens. The two colors that I got are Enchantment number 070 and East End Snob. I found you trying to make me buy those MAC lip liners to get the Kylie Jenner look. These are the best dupes for that kind of look. If you want to over exaggerate your lips, just a tiny bit. I'm not for the clown look, but if you are, hello. Oh, find these ones from Rimmel. But um, it just it's this is this lip liner is so nice to apply to your lips. I'm wearing Enchantment on my lips right now. These are basically the same color. One's just slightly darker than the other. Really no difference. Find the cheap versions as much as you can, guys, because makeup is makeup is makeup, and if you feel good and you feel confident in it, then that's all that matters. You don't need to buy the expensive stuff. I got some expensive stuff because I want to treat myself, and I know a couple of them are staple items that I will use for a very long time. Yeah, if you're just gonna try out an experiment, go for a drugstore. They're really stepping up their games with their formulations and their pigmentation and how last they long how long they last. So make sure that you check them out first and get the deals and get the coupons because that's where it's at. I got this in Catalina because that's one of our stops. I work on a cruise ship. Watch other videos if you want to know about that. Videos will be here. Um, I got this in a little cute shop on Catalina Island. It's just a little wooden plank that says words to live by. And then it came with a set of these little cards that have like inspirational quotes. And Bohemian, oh, that's <coughs> just a random piece of cardboard. Uh, bohemian settings and nice fonts. And I don't know about you, but I love a good font. And if I'm kind of feeling uninspired or something like that, I'll be like, mm -hmm, what does the quote say today? Oh, 
New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Okay, I'll try to apply that today. Oh, I forgot to say these things. I got these from the drugstore today. Totally tangleless. Awesomeness for your ears. Express yourself. I need a new headphones. Hashtag best buds ever. I'm gonna read the back of this. Totally with the heart for the O. Don't be confused. Totally tangleless. Awesomeness for your ears. I have a lisp, and that was very difficult for me to say. All day support. Wicked cool designs. Dynamic stereo performance. It looks like spaghetti. It looks like linguine. Why is it a why is it a mile long? Alright, I'm gonna put it. How much did they cost at the corner drugstore I get there? $7.99. There you go. So I'm gonna put on Beyonce because lemonade. Not bad so far. Gabe, say something. Hey! Okay, I can still hear you. Yeah, how'd I do? Hello? Emily. Sorry, I'm just listening to Beyonce now. <laughs> I was just getting into formation. <laughs> so, so that's it. I hope you like this video. You know, I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I bought myself lately. Uh, cause it's super important and everybody needs to know. I, I filmed this because I enjoy being nosy and finding out what other people like. So I thought maybe someone might be interested in what I like. Uh, if you weren't, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Your negative comments are well welcome. Thank you. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, if you do so please. Make sure that you, and more importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Become a wanderer today. Come on over. Join the crowd. Join us. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more antics. Follow my social media. I'm Snapchatting more. Not really. Just whenever I have of internet. Sometimes I'll take pictures of my face because I like the filters. Bye! Peace! Love! Subscribe! I'll see you next time! Bye!